everybody, thanks for joining. If you're new, my name is Eva, and if you're returning, thanks for coming back to watch another video. So when you hear the word tote, you probably think about a larger bag that you can put over your shoulder and tote a lot of things around. But today I'm actually talking about the mini tote. The main criteria for me to choose the bags to show today is that they be tote style, meaning that they have two handles. And all the bags that I'm showing today do not have traditional zip closures. So these are not the most secure bags. <laughs> these are not bags that I wear if I feel that I'm in a big crowd or that I really need to be extra attentive. I mainly wear these bags for the ease of use, you know, to be able to get in and out quickly, see your things easily. That's the main reason why I have purchased and why I use these bags. I'm gonna organize this video in terms of size. I'm gonna start with my smallest ones and work up in size. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna have a section devoted just to Portland leather goods bags so that we can compare some of those. And I'll be going through these pretty quickly. So if you want to see more details about a particular bag, check the description box below to see if I've done a video on it. And if I haven't done a video on it and you would like to know more details, then please put it in the comments below. Okay, so let's get started with the Furla Gilda. This is a very small bag here. It has the option to unzip and make a little bit wider, which I prefer using that way. It's a little peek down inside the bag. It does have a clip if you wanted to try to clip the top of it together, but I have never used that. It's kind of difficult to use in my opinion, and it just doesn't enhance the security features. This is in a very light kind of a cloud color blue, and I got this bag when I was in Vienna last year. This is a new bag to my collection. This is the Dooney & Burke Janine bag. I got it back uh, last Christmas uh, when it was on sale. It wasn't actually on the Dooney site, but it was on eBay. Anyway, I got a, I think I got a great deal on it and I got it because of this uh, tartan print. I thought, I thought it was so cute. I wanted to add another tartan print back to my collection. I really like the handles on this tote. I mean, they're quite small. It's not really big enough to do crook of the arm but it's really fun to carry in this way. And of course it does have the option for a strap. One of the most interesting things is about the closure for this bag. So it doesn't have a zip closure, but it has this little flap that comes around and attaches with a magnet. So you pull that open and this is what it looks like down inside the bag. Even though you see like the size and proportion of this bag, because it is concaved on the side, it's actually really, really even smaller than it looks. But I'm okay with that because it is so, so cute. I'm including this bag because it's another small tote. It's the Dior Diorissimo bag. That, that's fun to say, but sometimes challenging. And uh, I talked about this on the Dior on a budget video because it's very similar in style to the Lady Dior, but at a much better price point. It was for me when I bought it. This bag is really soft and malleable, and the D-rings for attachment are right up here at the top. I love the pop of contrasting color on the interior. It has a snap closure and it has snaps on the side of the bag so you could cinch it up. The only thing that bothers me about this bag is that the leather is not stiff or structured enough to hold the weight of these charms. But of course I love the charms, so you know, it's, it's like a, a give and take on that. But yeah, if you are looking for a Diorissimo, know that that might be an issue. And this is one of my recent purchases. This is the Louis Vuitton Vintage Vavine bag. What makes this bag so cool is that it has internal organization. So I've just done a video recently about this, so do check that out if you'd like more details about the organization inside. It's just a cutie, like it, it's so cute. Now this one does not have a crossbody option, you know, built in. I mean, you might be able to hook one, hook a strap here and there, but it's not part of the intended design of the bag but it definitely has room to go, you know, on the crook of your arm, on your wrist, and that's how I prefer to wear it. Okay, moving up in size now, here we have the Furla Net Mini. It is a mini bag, but it's pretty spacious for a mini bag. It has this kind of closure where you uh, twist the latch and then move this piece of leather out of the way. But to be honest with you, I never do that when I'm using the bag. You know, if you're concerned about security like that, it's not gonna make a difference there. That's just for aesthetics, I think. So I don't use that, I just let that leather, you know, flat fall in. And I like this because of ease of use. It opens up so wide, it's so easy to see all of your things in here. I like the color block option. I like the little details of the leather on the side. And I like that it has different kinds of leather. It has pebbled leather, it has suede, and it has smooth leather contrast for the handles and the trim. 
this is probably one of my most used small mini bags just because of the ease of it and how wide it opens. This is the Loewe Gate Mini and it is a beautifully made bag. The leather quality is incredible on this bag and it is very structured and I it doesn't make it you know as easy to use as that furlough that I just showed you but when I use this it's just like you know next level in terms of craftsmanship and beauty. I bought this bag from another YouTuber Cami from Cami's Closet. She was selling one of hers but she still has her other one in ice pink which is also really beautiful. It's just a gorgeous bag I think and I'm so glad that she was selling one. Here you can see that the anagram right down here on this detail. This is the Tory Burch Small Blake Tote. I got this at my local Nordstrom Rack. I don't know if this was a Tory outlet or if it was sold at their boutique. Either way, I just knew it was super cute and I wanted it because of the shirling trim. I've enjoyed using it. I've used it quite a bit since I bought it back last December. Even though you don't need an insert in this bag, I put a little one in here because I think it just helps give it a little bit more structure, a little bit more firmness. And it has this uh, magnet closure here. This is not a secure closure, but it does just help keep the bag together and give it shape. This bag was from the Coach Outlet. Even though I didn't buy it directly from the outlet, I, from, through my research, I found out that it was sold out the outlet when it was available. This is the Mini Christy Carryall. And again, it has this small tote design. I think it's pretty cool because it does have a zipper pockets, but the main interior portion of the bag is just an open tote with a snap closure. Oh, uh, you can see I've still got some stuff down in there from uh, last time I used it. I didn't clean this one out. I'll probably regret that when I look for something one day. But anyway, it's just a very compact, uh, small bag. Of course, I love the design here with the uh, heart leopard print on it. But in general, I really like the layout with these two side zips and the middle being open. It's really easy to use. Okay, so now we have one from the Coach Boutique. This is the Coach Willow 24. And what drew me to this bag was the cherry print and the fact that I found it at my local TJ Maxx. This bag is interesting. It's not just an open tote. It has three sections that you have the ability to actually close the front portion of the bag with a turn lock. It does have an interior zip and I like that a lot because that's where I would put my wallet. So that does bump it up in terms of practical aspects. And then the back portion is just open back there, but it's closed with a magnet there. That's a great feature right there. This bag is very structured. It stays up on its own and the handles stay up, which is not the case with all the bags that I'm showing you today. So it's really easy to grab and go quickly. In terms of an open tote, it's, it gives you some flexibility in terms of being able to close some compartments off like this and being able to use a zip, but still having like easy access. So I really like this combination of features on this bag. Now we have the Tory Burch Dragonfly bag. This is a very cool bag too. It's easy to use because you just open it up and it's all available. In terms of organization, it does have a this like kind of a generous pocket here in the front and it also has a slip pocket in the back. It does have a snap on here, but I have never snapped it and it doesn't really work with the style and the shape of the bag. For me, it's just an open tote. It is a beautiful bag. It's very well made, like the leather is good. The stitching is really high quality. The handles are sturdy, but still comfortable for the hand. And the handles fold onto themselves. If you are wearing a crossbody, you can get those handles out of the way. I thought this video was getting a little long, so I decided to make this part one of Small Totes, and I will make a part two devoted to Portland leather goods. So come back and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye.